Boom, he's back. Live and direct, almost. I take it as live and direct anyway. I have a few stuff to share with you today about uh, yeah, a few things we're gonna talk about. And then we're gonna start with, uh, I don't know if I brought that same book I was reading the other day, very interesting book I was reading to you. I think I got it, I'm not sure, yeah I think I got it. Yeah, we'll go through this a bit. Very inspiring book. Hold on. Coming. How the pain body feeds your thoughts. You know, the pain body. It becomes very interesting to talk about the pain body because uh, that's what I experience uh, permanently. So it's a subject that for sure uh, captivates me and uh, get my attention. How the pain body feeds on your thoughts. Yeah, it may be shocking when you realize for the first time that there is something within you that periodically seeks emotional negativity, seeks unhappiness. You need even more awareness to see it in yourself than to recognize it in another person. When the unhappiness has taken you over, not only do you not want an end to it, but you want to make others just as miserable as you are in order to feed on their negative emotional reaction yeah we do that often in in most people in most people the pain body has a dormant and an active stage a dormant and an active stage water got high here man. that's my other chilling spot I have two famous chilling spot that's one of them and most people <coughs> the pain body has a dormant and an active stage when it is when it is dormant you easily forget that you carry a heavy, dark cloud or a dormant volcano inside you. Depending on the energy field of your particular pain body, how long it remains dormant varies from person to person. Varies from person to person. A few weeks is the most common, but it can but it can be a few days or months. In rare cases, the pain body can lie in hibernation for years before it gets triggered by some event. The pain body awakens from its dormancy when it gets hungry, when it is time to replenish itself. Alternatively, it may get triggered by an event at any time. The pain body that is ready to feed use the most insignificant event as a trigger, something somebody says or does, or even a thought. If you live alone or there is nobody around the time, the pain body will feed on your thoughts. Suddenly your thinking becomes deeply negative. You were most likely unaware that just prior to the influx of negative thinking, a wave of emotion invaded your mind. As a dark and heavy mood, as anxiety or fiery anger. All thought is energy and the pain body is now feeding on the energy of your thoughts. But it cannot feed on any You don't need to be particularly sensitive to notice that the positive thought has a totally different feeling tone than a, than a negative one. It is the same energy, but it vibrates at a different frequency. A happy positive thought 
is indigestible to the pain body. It can only feed on negative thoughts because only those thoughts are compatible with its own energy field. With its own energy field. Everything is about energy, frequency, vibrancy. You gotta vibrate high. Yeah, that's one thing I know. We gotta vibe high. Yeah. Usually I'm walking down here. Usually I'm walking here all along. But because of the flood in Quebec recently, uh, that's the St. Lawrence River. So it's very, uh, very high. The level of water is high. Yeah. Much higher than usual. Much, much higher than usual. All things are vibrating energy field in ceaseless motion. That's what I just said. All things are vibrating energy fields in ceaseless motion. The chair you sit on, the book you are holding in your hands appear solid and motionless only because that is how your senses perceive their vibrational frequency. That is to say, the incessant movement of the molecules, atoms, electrons and subatomic particles that together create what you perceive as a chair, a book, a tree or a body. What we perceive as physical matter is energy vibrating, moving at the particular range of frequency. Thoughts consist of the same energy vibrating at a higher frequency than matter, which is why they cannot be seen or touched. Thoughts have their own range, own range of frequencies. With negative thoughts, at the lower end of the scale and positive thoughts at the higher. The vibrational frequency of the pain body resonates with that of negative thoughts, which is why only those thoughts can feed the pain body. The usual pattern of thoughts creating emotion is reversed in the case of the pain body, at least initially. Emotions from the pain body quickly gain control over your thinking and once your mind has been taken over by the pain body your thinking becomes negative oh yeah I know how it feels I know how it feels yeah, it becomes negative the voice in your head will be telling sad anxious or angry stories Sad, anxious, or angry stories about yourself or your life, about other people, about past, future, or imaginary events. The voice will be blaming, accusing, complaining, imagining, imagining. And you are totally identified with whatever the voice says totally identified with whatever the voice says. And you are totally identified with whatever the voice says. Believe all is distort believe all its distorted thoughts. At that point the addiction to un unhappiness has set in. Yeah. Unhappiness has set in. Many people settle for unhappiness. It is not so much that you cannot stop your train of negative thoughts. But that you don't want to. This is because the pain body at that time is living through you, is living through you, pretending to be you. And to the pain body, pain is pleasure. It eagerly devours every negative thought. In fact, the usual voice in your head has now become the voice of the pain body. It has taken over the internal dialogue. 
vicious circles become established between the pain body and your thinking. Every thought feeds on the pain body and in turn the pain body generates more thoughts. At some point, after a few hours or even a few days, it has replenished itself. It has replenished itself and returns to a dormant stage. Leaving behind, leaving behind a depleted organism and a body that is much more susceptible to illness. If that sounds to you like a psychic parasite, you are right. That's exactly what it is. Ease up.